<laughs> Apple display supplier BOE may lose all iPhone 14 orders after trying to cheat. Ooh. Cheat Apple? B-O-E. What is this? Uh, Tim picked up the phone. He called him. He said, you did what? You did what? The problems faced by tertiary Apple display supplier BOE appear to have gone from bad to worse, according to a new report. The company is now in danger of losing all orders for the iPhone 14. Too many, many of the company's displays were failing to pass quality control checks, and BOE reportedly tried to solve this by quietly changing the specs without telling Apple. Oh, man. Salacious. Are you keeping something from me? BOE? Wow. Tim, it's Tim what here. What specs are they changing? I'm going to need to know. Chinese display manufacturer BOE was only ever third place in Apple's supply chain behind Samsung and LG, but was still hoping to make as many as 40 million OLED screens this year. It's like, we're in third place. That's still in order for 40 million. They come to you, <laughs> yeah. Mo. They yeah. come to you and they're like, you're going to be, uh, we're going to add you in. Okay. It's going to be a small commitment. Mm -hmm. How we're small gonna, are we talking? We're going to need 40 million displays this year. <laughs> and you're like, uh, I'll get, like, to, oh. I'll get to work then. Where do I invest? BOE hit two problems, however, which put this number in doubt. First, it was struggling to buy enough display driver chips. As, we, as previously noted, these are one of the worst hit components in the global chip shortage. They're like, come on, Tim. Tim, please. Shortage. Please, please, Tim. Please. Tim. Yeah, but then you talk to Tim. Please. You don't secretly cheat. Please, no Tim. Oh, good. Yeah. Timmy, please. Oh, chat's being spammed. Timmy, please. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, please. Such a global chip shortage. <laughs> BOE was experiencing poor yield rates. The proportion of units that pass quality control yield rates are always a challenge for Apple suppliers as the company specs are often tighter than those set by their smartphone makers. Thank you very much for that, 9 to 5 Mac. I knew there was a reason I loved Apple so much. Even Samsung Display, which is the most advanced OLED manufacturer out there. Shout out Daniel. He says, would I rather go versus Linus or Marquez in YouTuber boxing? Um... Who? I mean, probably Linus, I guess, right? Yeah, he might be scrappy, though. I feel like Linus is, isn't going to have as much reach, but you know, yeah, you're right. You never know. How? Is Linus tall? No. I don't remember. No, he's he's not. He's He probably weighs, you want me to guess, like, his, his specs? His height. <laughs> his specs. I can guess his specs. Oh, he, he's not reaching. He's in decent shape. Both oh, okay, those both yeah. those guys are in they are, I mean, yeah. Marcus Marquez is in great is like shape. A, He's jumping around, catching the frisbees. And, yeah. yeah, I think you're supposed to call it. You're supposed to call it ultimate though, because it's well. No, he's no, catching ultimate. the frisbees, and I'm not. <laughs> I do anything with my hands. Yeah, as I as soon as I get him going, he starts threatening me with his hands. With my hands, yeah. Pointing, and then I'm just goofing on you, Mo. That's all. Just making sure you're having a good time. Just making sure you're stretched out. That's uh -huh. all. <laughs> just out. remember you're not this on is me all the time. Just remember <laughs> just remember you're not untouchable, okay? <laughs> just remember that. Right. Um no, I don't I'm I don't want to box any 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 of these uh any of these guys, but I guess you know, you watch these events take place and it seems yeah. like people learn something about themselves, doesn't it? Did you happen to see uh the previous boxing match that happened last weekend? You're talking about Idubs? Idubs and um, he fought someone, but Harley. Oh from, yeah, uh, Epic Meal Time. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he called out uh, Doctor Disrespect at the he end did, of his yeah. fight too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I saw a little bit of it. Apparently, I, I think people seem to like the production, as far as what I saw on mm -hmm. uh, the sentiment on social media. Yeah. Uh, shout out Gabriel. Um, but it's I don't know what it is. It's the phenomenon of the YouTuber boxing. People love it. I, I think there's something about the story of something some somebody doing something really difficult and vulnerable and so obviously physical. Mm -hmm. Right? There's really nowhere to hide. You're in there. Yeah. It's all on display. Mm -hmm. And nobody really looks particularly elegant. No. And I think that's what we kind of like about it in a way. Mm -hmm. Those other guys, they got pretty serious with it. Those other guys are starting to look elegant. Uh, the Paul, uh, Jake Paul, and those types. Yeah, but 
uh, there appears to be some sort of uh, appetite, obviously, at this point, because we've seen it across all types of spectrums here in the space. Um, however, I highly doubt, I don't think it's going to happen in the tech space. I highly doubt it. I think it'd be funny. But who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Um, okay, so yes, yield rates when it comes to OLED displays. That was one of the issues early on in OLED, and and even more so when it comes to big displays, not even not small ones. It's even tougher, and uh, even Samsung Samsung themselves have, have struggled at times with yield rates. But you're gonna have these really tight tolerances. Apple runs a tight ship. Um, they're gonna want to be as efficient as possible. Uh, it, there's there's an example. So Samsung has had yield rates as low as 60% for iPhone displays. That, that means you're throwing out 40% or I guess recycling them or throwing them out or whatever. So a lot of people don't realize that it's very difficult at scale to be making these displays. And it's probably one of the reasons Apple doesn't do it themselves, I'm guessing. But you have Samsung, LG, and BOE are the three. Uh, however, in this case, I guess BOE was kind of being, uh, at least allegedly, being a little shady uh, it changed the circuit width of the film transistors, presumably making them thicker and thus easier to manufacture. Unfortunately for BOE, that didn't go unnoticed by Apple. The company was caught having changed the circuit width of the thin film transistors on the OLED panels it made for iPhone 13. Done without Apple's approval in a likely bid to increase the yield rate. BOE tried to explain its actions, but it seems Apple was understandably unimpressed. The Chinese di display panel sent a C-level executive and employees to Apple's headquarters following the incident to explain why they changed the circuit with the transistors. They also asked the iPhone maker to approve the production of OLED panels for iPhone 14, but didn't receive a clear response from Apple. Cupertino seems poised to give another order for around 30 million OLED panels it intended to give BOE before the incident to Samsung Display and LG Display instead. Shout out person 1860. This is also shout out Vabi. This is one of those situations where... Um, you begin to realize the complexity of building these things. And you know, Will, because you've seen it firsthand. Yes, and scale. You were over there. You were walking around. You were marching around these type of facilities. With the hairnet and the uh, coat. You had, you had quite a look going on. Mm -hmm. You had quite the drip, as the kids say. Oh, I don't know about that. And you walked up and you were inspecting things. And I saw you pick things up. I saw. You. <laughs> I immediately started inspecting. <laughs> <laughs> you were you had to you know you had to sniff around a little bit. You had to see what's really what's really going on. Yeah. And what did we discover? Holy cow! Um, these are complex operations, very tight tolerances, and very kind of intense environments where. You're doing the thing, and then the person is watching you do you do the work over your shoulder the whole time, and right. it's an intense environment, and it kind of has to be because everybody there's a expectation of perfection, Mo. When you yeah. crack your phone open, mm -hmm. I want everything to work out the box. You uh, your whole perception of the brand is the perfection with which it's been Absolutely. manufactured. Absolutely, and you want perfection, don't you, Mo? Mm -hmm. As an investor, <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, and as a buyer. As well. Anyway, so uh, we'll see what takes place with them. I don't know. Does this mean that the cost could possibly go up on the retail? I mean, these things are already pretty expensive to begin with. Uh, there was a shot of Willie do there for a yeah. split second with his outfit on. This was one of my favorite parts. Just slam, drop test? slamming the phones. I'm like, let me check this out. Oh, baby. Here we go. That hat you have on. I mean, I told you it was a fit to it. I told you. <laughs> yeah, we thought for sure we're shattering at that height because yeah. they kept going up higher and higher. No shatter, no shatter zone. Yeah. So we should get one of those machines. In let's there. get one of those machines They're in here. Cool machine. You know what? I have an idea. <laughs> okay, let's let me one, hear it. Let's get one of those machines in here. Oh, what? Look at you thinking outside the box. 